and I can't decide if I want to be her or date her. She is just Hello everybody and welcome to another weekend reading vlog except I'm starting a day late so this is actually gonna go Saturday to Monday instead of Friday to Sunday because your girl is a busy busy girl for the past month of August which you guys have maybe noticed in my uploading because usually I upload Monday Wednesday Friday and I've only uploaded like three times in the month of August because I am currently in placement for my college. I'm studying early childhood education. Final placement is four weeks long. So it started July 26th and it's going until August 20th. So I'm almost done. It's currently August 14th. So one more week and I will be a registered early childhood educator, which is exciting. But that means I've had no time for any filming and no time for any reading and no time for any social life i've done literally nothing but paperwork and planning for preschoolers so hasn't been the most exciting month for me and there's been no reading pretty much at all except very very short books but i have this weekend off because william is up in montreal visiting family which means i'm all by myself all weekend so i figured i could actually do some reading because i don't have any planning that i have to do until monday after placement so we're gonna do some reading and I'm really excited. Which leads me to what I'm reading. I am reading A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. I'm about halfway through. It's like 275 pages out of 499, which I don't understand why they didn't just make it 500 pages. It kind of bothers me that it's 499 and not 500, and I don't know why it bothers me, but it does. It's a sapphic revenge story that features fairies. It also takes place in Toronto, which I live very close to, so it's kind of cool. It keeps mentioning like different landmarks and stuff from Toronto, so it's like, oh, I know where that is, and it mentioned my university, which was kind of cool because it like mentioned the streets and everything that I've walked down and like spent five years of my life there but yeah so far I'm enjoying it it is very confusing at times because I've been listening to it on audiobook and sometimes when I listen to my audiobook I don't fully pay attention I'm not gonna lie because I'm too busy playing Animal Crossing and I get sucked into the crossing of the animals I am slightly confused but so far it's really entertaining but I don't know who some people are because like I missed their introduction and stuff because too busy crossing animals. My mom and I are going to be going to Walmart soon because we have to pick up a couple of things and then my cousin and my aunt are coming over because my mom and them are going to go to some pottery show. I was invited but I was like I really don't want to go to a pottery show. That does not sound exciting for me. So I'm gonna stay here, film some videos. I have this idea for a video because like I just said I'm teaching preschool right now and their like interest is colors. So I was thinking I could do a series that I'm gonna call Roy G Biv on my channel which are the colors of the rainbow and it'll just be my recommendations for every color of the rainbow kind of situation so today I'm filming red which is why we are very red I also realized that I have not read a lot of orange books so I can't really film an orange video yet so if you guys have any like recommendations for orange books for me to check out then that would be super helpful because I don't have any on my shelves or the ones that I do have like I just haven't read yet so it's like I need to read a shit ton of orange books so that I can film that video or I could just skip orange but then I can't upload the other ones until I've uploaded orange because that's the way my brain works and it'll bug me if Roy G. Biv is not Roy G. Biv and it's like er ye g bivo you know so I don't know please leave me some orange books to check out and then I'm probably also going to film a haul because I have like 50 books on my floor right now that I've just been hoarding from publishers and like thrift shopping because I'm just been too busy to actually film anything. Also like I haven't washed my hair in a very long time. Now I have so it's washing hair day which is why I need to get all these videos filmed so that my hair actually doesn't look disgusting because we got to keep the purple in you know. But yeah that's the plan. I'm gonna go film, go to Walmart and then I don't know what I'm gonna do, read probably. So I'll see you guys in my next update, I guess. Going to Walmart because I have nothing to do because Will's in Montreal this week when does he come and home? I am lonely. When does he come home? He comes home Monday. 
And then he's moving very far away. So it's not really far. Away. Yes, it is. It's not. It's like two hours away. Two hours. Which is far. Far for for you, yes, but it's not far. It's not like it's England. No, it's fine. Why is he in Montreal? He's visiting his family. Yes. So because he hasn't seen some of them in a year and a half. Yeah, because of COVID. So like I'm I'm letting it slide that he left me for the week. Maybe you can go next time. Yeah. Well, the only reason I I didn't end up going was because I was working. Right. So well, not working. I'm in placement, but still. Yeah. So we're going to Walmart. Bye. It's now Sunday. Didn't update you guys yesterday, so I figured I should probably update you guys now. But I got very far in a dark and hollow star. I'm now page 429 out of 499, which it still bugs me that they didn't just make it 500 pages. But I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's probably going to be a 3.5 unless something like blows my mind for the last little bit of the book. I really like Nausicaa. She's like the immortal fairy fury thing in this I think this is her I'm pretty sure and I can't decide if I want to be her or date her she is just so sassy and just like bitter at life and I just find it so funny and then there's Arlo who is like a goody two-shoes so they're like complete opposites which I really like it's kind of like a fun dynamic and then like I said earlier this is all taking place in Toronto so it says a lot of things that I'm very familiar with like landmarks and places and like street names I lived there for five years of my life so I am quite familiar with everything that's going on down there so it's just kind of cool to be able to see things that I've seen so the plan for today is that I'm going to finish this because it's pretty much almost done I'm gonna be listening to it while I play my Animal Crossing because that's what I do and then I'm probably going to try to pre-film a couple of videos because like I said earlier I have not been filming or editing or doing anything because of placement so if I can get a couple of videos pre-filmed then I'm not gonna have to worry about that at all which will be nice I'm still trying to find orange books on my shelf and I just don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I might pre-film like the other colors and then come back to orange later on once I read more but I want to film everything like in order well not film but I want to upload the colors in order so I don't know when orange will be <laughs> up but I'm going to try to film my blue video today because I have like so many blue books I could also do a black and white but that's also not really Roy G. Biv that's like outside of the rainbow. So I might do that though, just have it pre-filmed. I've realized I don't really have a lot of yellow or green books that I like loved either. So there's too many black and white books. I am petitioning for publishers to make more colorful books so that I can do this video. Like this is ridiculous. And then I'm probably going to film like a naked books video because I just want everyone to see a nature of witches because it's covered in butterflies and I am obsessed with it I have not read it yet though so there's that and I probably should film another haul video because I have three piles still even though I filmed a haul yesterday there's like 50 books by my bed and I didn't want to do a 50 book book haul so I did I think like 10 books yesterday so there's still quite a bit there and then I might also do like an updated net galley shelf video because I did one back in May it's now August so I do have new books on there there's still a lot of the same so I just won't mention those but yeah those are the plans for today I still don't know what my next read is going to be after this so I also have to pick that it's gonna try to make it an orange one but who knows if that's gonna happen but yeah those are the plans I'm gonna go play my Animal Crossing because I'm talking to Tipper right now I'm hoping she gives me her picture finally because she's the only one who hasn't given me her picture she's a little diva <music> video so I need to edit that but I finished Dark and Hollow Star ended up giving it four stars I really liked the ending and I had no idea that it was a four part series I thought it was like a duology or a trilogy at most but no it's going to be four parts the next one comes out in 2022 at some point I don't remember what month I looked it up on Goodreads but yeah I liked it it was a lot of fun and then I started Bubble by Jordan Morris which I am 70 pages in. It's an adult graphic novel about this girl who is a imp fighter, which is like 
monsters of some kind but they come in like different varieties so there's like bug imps reptile imps etc etc there was like a monkey in there they're really creepy looking i'll try to find it hold on see they're creepy they start like an app that allows them to like hunt these imps for money so she's doing that as a side hustle and then her roommate also uses the imps to create drugs they all live in this like bubble around their city it's like a dome there's like a poster that came with it hold on that's the city that they live in and these like imp things monsters are outside and they sometimes like infiltrate the bubble from what they call the brush which is like outside the bubble and they infiltrate the bubble and they like attack humans the app is kind of like a postmates for imp killing if you will that's how they describe it but yeah it's a lot of fun so far i'm only 70 pages in but this is the orange book that i chose because i figured it's quick so i'll be able to say whether or not i like it or not very quickly rather than having to read like actual chapter books i actually did find six books on my shelf that are orange but some of them are like 3.5 books so i'm like mm, i would rather talk about like 4.5 and 5 star books so i did find four books that i haven't read yet that are orange so i'm gonna try to read those this week well i'm not gonna read four books but i'm gonna try to read them in the next little while like all my books next are going to be these orange books and hopefully i find one that i give four or five stars because then i can trade out the 3.5 star book for the higher rated books to recommend in my orange books video and then i also read chapter one of bone cryer's moon by Catherine purdy and this is one that has a lot of mixed reviews on booktube but from the first chapter i'm enjoying it so far from what i know of this is it's about these girls who have to kill their soulmates in order to like gain magical powers or something like that but so far all they're killing are animals and like taking their bones to have magical powers from these animals so i'm not 100 percent sure how this all works out but i'm interested so far like it's intriguing but yeah that is my next read it's not an orange book but i ordered it on like audiobook months and months and months ago and it finally came in and i only have like 10 more days of the loan because i have been not listening to audiobooks very much because of placement so we gotta get on that before it goes away because i don't want to have to wait months and months and months again to be able to read it after i'm done the graphic novel i'll listen to this and then hopefully finish it within 10 days but i'm gonna go finish this so far like i said i'm enjoying it 70 pages in there's only like 200 and something pages i think it's like 250 253 pages so i'm probably going to be able to finish it by tonight because i read this in 20 minutes so we're thinking that it's gonna be done probably gonna give it like a four stars unless it becomes hecka good and then we'll end up giving it a 4.5 or a 5 but it's really funny it kind of reminds me of adventure zone like that kind of like adult humor we're having hamburgers for dinner this is how normal people eat their hamburgers no this isn't normal because there's nothing on it but cheese it's a little hamburger this yeah, is but... how i eat because <laughs> i don't eat buns and then I think that your dad's the only one who eats a normal burger because he puts all the other stuff on it. But not even the lettuce and tomatoes. We don't even do that. Well, the point is you have a bun and I just cut my just shit up and put eat. tzatziki sauce on it. So <laughs> does it count? Maybe not. And what's this you're drinking? Uh, mom's alcoholic mom's beverage. Mom's alcoholic yes. beverage. Yes, I licked it, therefore it's mine. Did you go? Know?